Hey everybody, me and my son are going to make a couple quarter rings out of 2018 Apostle Islands. So I'll kind of show you guys how we do this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is punch holes in these. Drill out a hole. Um, then I use a reamer here. Kind of ream out the edges to make sure they're sh they're not sharp. So you can see there the the Apostle Islands, 2018. Okay, we'll have Grant come here, hold the camera for me. Oh. Aim it right there. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys how I punch it. Use a bit like this, a die fold. I'll put the quarter in. This is actually a ring press here, a ring stretcher. See that it's kind of rounded the ring. Over here, I'll aim it right here. Okay. Okay. Sharpen this. Make sure we take the burrs out of it. Okay, let's see. We can actually we can actually use this again. Push it just a little bit more. Okay. See how it's starting to fold it? Pretty cool. Let me ream it out a little bit here. When you're doing the silver coins, when you're making a coin ring with silver coins, you want to use some a torch and heat it up. That way you can kind of soften the metal. Um, silver is a little bit tougher to work with, but let me throw this on here. Let's see if we can find a Let's see if that's okay. Spin that down. So you can see it folded it some more. It's kind of a slow process. You ream it out a little bit here. Let's see. Let's try that one. camera up so we can see the top of the ring press here so I'm gonna slide this guy I'll show that slide it this way now as I pump you can come over here if you want you got the you showing it in the camera mm -hmm. okay then you just kind of work it As you're working it, it's spreading it out. It's it's flattening it out. Um, Come out of the way. Let me ream it out a little bit here. See, as I push up on the lever here, 
this mandible here is spreading. So when it's actually fold, making this closer, so it's kind of making the ring bigger as I can work the ring down. I gotta be careful and ream it because it'll start splitting ends and then cause the ring itself to split. Do about three pumps on that ring stretcher. Oops, I got it. Just keep shining. And then I ream it out here some. Let's do a little more. big for a little kid's spring. Okay, so then aim oh, down here. Oh. No. no, it's still recording. Camera's just messing up. Okay, so shine down here. Keep your fingers out of the camera. All right, and then what this is gonna do, so you can see the, can you see the ring? Yeah. Okay, I'll smash it down a little bit. Kind of roll the edges. Keep going here. How long is that video? I don't want to. All right, that's all right. I'll go ahead and pause this until I get this just right, guys. So we don't drag this video too long. All right, I figured I'd show you what they turned out looking like. This one didn't turn out too bad. So there's the Apostle Islands. And the date, 2018. So pretty cool. See how it's redid on that side. It's not too bad. Um, this other one, which is the first one that you, I, you guys actually see me doing, it actually turned out kind of wobbly looking. It's not perfectly round. It's kind of kind of goofy. So. But this one turned out pretty decent. And still need to polish it up some and clean it up a little bit. Um, I did want to show you one I made about a month ago, I guess. Um, this one here is a, I made out of an 1878 Morgan Silver Dollar. Um, I was born in 1978, so it's 100 years older than I am. So this is 140 years old. Um, pretty cool. You see the detail inside. Pretty nice. I can show you that it fits on my ring finger here. Pretty nice coin. Um, I did make a 1978 um, Kennedy half dollar. So obviously the Morgan's 90% silver. Um, or this is just mainly copper 
So pretty cool. Just thought I'd show it to you guys. Um, I will have a link in the description down below to like that ring stretcher and mandible, just some ring making supplies or tools. If you guys wanted to give it a shot yourself, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.